biggest Helmut Lang collection in the world. These are kind of museum pieces. This is like 19 years of work. Men's wear, like archive bros are into. Almost unwearable and fucking rare. Some of his most important work, like I'm, I'm really flexing on you at this stage. Like these are kind of difficult to find. This is Andy my archive. Hi guys, uh, my name is Michael and this is Andy my archive uh, based in Berlin. It's a collection of vintage Helmut Lang clothing and also things from other brands. And uh, here are my holy grails. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for having me. We do a lot of restoration here. Really? Yeah, as an archive, we we put a lot of effort on this stuff to try to make it look nice. Like this thing, for example. Hi, what's up? Hey, hey, nice to meet you, man. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I see. So like this thing, for example, it, it was covered in this like massive holes. Oh. And now like, okay, you can't see it that much. Anymore. Yeah. Like, so it's, it's a bit of a process, like fixing all these delicate old things. This gym has been around. But it looks okay now, you know. It looks perfect, like brand new. Cool. That's that's uh, what I want. That's to the say. vibe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the studio of the garments. All of this work is like recorded to the staff in a way that is also relevant for fashion designers. Yeah. So these are the people we work for. So you know, we take these photos that we try to make them very symmetric and very kind of flat looking because it's about like the design. Yeah. As opposed to like the fit. Go see it. Wow. Uh, so this is... Uh, More rooms. <laughs> yeah, this is like uh, when stuff that's finished uh, goes to this room. And here, it's like, this is our Helmut Lang collection. Mm. This is uh, like the biggest Helmut Lang collection in the world. It's kind of like split into like color families. And within each color, there's like a typology. You start with like sleeveless tops, right? And you start with like the weirdest. And then towards the end, you end up here which is like a pretty normal looking tank. And because Helmut Lang is a designer who doesn't really do a lot of wacky things, you can make a nice progression. And you see, shit looks really similar to each other. Like, these are different. This is 95, this is 99. Like, everything looks quite similar. Yeah. Like, Helmut Lang is a weird brand in the sense that, you know, you meet a designer now and they're like, they have this exciting idea that's theirs, but they also have to like, keep making new things because the market like needs something new to absorb, mm. blah, blah, blah. And this fucking guy is designing the same thing over and over and over for like years. <laughs> you have like these codes, like this is 1997. It has a stripe here. Yeah. Like, okay, 1995, the plaquage is a bit wider. Winter 2000, the shoulder is like darted. Oh. And, and it's literally the same fucking code again and again and again. This is like a bit more adventurous. This is 2003, it's like inside out. Wow. Kinda. Yeah. Uh, like, but he's really like doing the same thing again and again, which is what makes it so fun to gather all this stuff together. Literally. Because it, it just looks like, you know, like kind of the evolution of dinosaurs. It's kind of like <laughs> the same thing yeah. again and again, slightly different, which uh, for me makes it really nice. Like I tried to like get all the different colors and stuff. You're shooting right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's like... <laughs> I think that's a, that was a really great that you did this because yeah. it, it really helped. Really. It's more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Like I try and pretend like I'm not filming so you're more relaxed. No, it's easy. Like, it's just like when I'm like, okay, go. Then yeah, I'm yeah, I'm out. not like that as well, yeah. Men's wear, like archive bros are into, you know, like wow. the Astro jackets, the bombers, in all sorts of versions. Like this is a summer four version that's like a lighter fabric with these like big pockets. Oh, so nice. A winter three version, which is the thing that was one of the first kind of Helmut Lang things to go viral. Like wow. a bomber that has these elastic elements. Um, and these are for sale? Stuff has prices, Yeah, but it's like kinda. Yeah, uh, it's like iffy. We don't have them on the market mm. and people can ask and, and depending it's like maybe. on my mood, yeah. and depending on how near we are towards achieving our monthly goal of paying rent, I might sell a couple. <laughs> like it's it's kind of like I would rather not, 
but also when you accumulate all this stuff, maybe sometimes things have to go so that well, you can bring pay more. your fucking rent and, and keep doing this thing, you know. Yeah. We, we have to remain like a sustainable business. So this is our Helmut Lang mainline sort of room. It's all his like ready to wear stuff. I can and see like the blacks all under there hiding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Which is how like you end up having all this stuff in hiding. There's a lot of cool stuff in the black section. Like, check out this biker jacket for women. Wow, and you collect men's and women's. That is beautiful. So this is like the women's version, right? It has these jersey strips and these cutouts. And this is one of the rare examples where the men's is better. Okay. And we, we had to create like a backbone for this thing. Mm. Like, like all this feeling so that it doesn't kind of like melt into itself on a hanger. It has this removable flap on the back. And these, these details that it has, these chains and things, these are from an Italian uh, grenade holder case. He basically saw this cool military bag that has these weird details. And he was like, cool, let's put it on a jacket upside down. <laughs> like, literally, like, this is like the way he designs sometimes. And wow. it's really fun. He takes a tank top and he has like a bit of cheap lace. Yeah. And it's like when Helmut Lang does mesh and lace, it's like such a vibe, it's like so specific. These things that are made out of this like, woven plastic fiber. Wow. Uh, they're highly fragile. Yeah. Almost unwearable and fucking rare. Super rare and like little metal detailings. Yeah, he's got his little branding. Um, and they, these are inspired by windsurf sails. Oh. So windsurf sails have this thing where they have uh, opaque sections and transparent sections. It's, all, it's usually transparent when you're on the windsurf uh, to like see the sea across from you. Yeah. And then the rest is like colorful and usually has this like sporty graphics on them. Mm. And he literally turned that into a top. And I think it's kind of genius. Like the way different prints achieve like transparent and opaque. Wow. And I, yeah, like I really like this. These are kind of museum pieces. This is a Helmut Lang's kind of DIY moment <laughs> for Summer 4. He did all these tank tops that were, they look like the shapes were kind of like improvised. Yeah. And they're all based on a tank that you kind of chopped around. And it's like, what is this? Is there barely any tank left, you know? They're all kind of based on the idea that you have a tank that's asymmetric and has like these odd flourishes taking place. And this is some of his most important work, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, from the final stage of his career, where he was kind of uh, going through like a YOLO phase, I would say. <laughs> going, going, yeah. Oh, nice Sorry to go. interrupt. No worries, man. Have a good evening. Yeah, to you too. Have fun, yeah, guys. See you tomorrow. Appreciate See you tomorrow. it. Uh, yeah, and moving forward. Oh my God, dude. Dude. It's like a dream. <laughs> so you, you open doors and you surprise me every time. I'm like, there's another room. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get that a few times. <laughs> wow, so yeah. all the denim and accessories. Yep. It's, uh, this room is bags, jeans, and small accessories. The pencil case. The cigarette holder. Made it like all these kind of luxury objects. But because it's Helmut Lang, it's kind of like a fucking cool brand. Yeah. This, this is like a fake it till you make it moment. And I really respect that. Like a young brand, they got some money. They, they had just sold the label to Prada. Yeah. They were like, let's use these resources to, to do this cool shit. Harness for your finger. And then this goes through like your finger. Wow. And it's got a jingle bell. <laughs> it's like the classic Helmut Lang bracelet. It's like his most signature accessory. And it's a single handcuff. Um, so it came in a few colors. Like I'm, I'm really flexing on you at this stage. Like these are kind of difficult to find. Well, what an amazing, amazing collection.